It's time for some Save Your Sister fan art. Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. As you probably already know, unless you're brand new here, I'm on the street team for Jenna Moresi's new novel, The Save Your Sister, and my big contribution plan when I applied was fan art character portraits. So that's what we're going to do. If you're at all familiar with The Savior's Champion, book one, or if you've read the teasers for The Savior's Sister, book two, please let me know in the comments down below which characters you want to see me draw next. I've already shown this portrait to the author, Jenna Moresi, and she loved it. It's now in her pinned story of fan arts on her Instagram. So if you've already seen this on Instagram, that's why. Pretty cool reason, if you ask me. The Savior's Champion and The Savior's Sister are books one and two in a four-book dark fantasy novel series called The Savior Series, written by YouTube's own AuthorTube star, Jenna Moresi. You may also be familiar with her debut novel, Eve the Awakening, which is a sci-fi. We got The Savior's Champion, her first fantasy novel, two years ago, and in September we're getting The Savior's Sister, which is the companion novel to The Savior's Champion. A companion novel means it's the same story, the same timeline, but it's told from a different point of view. So it includes all the things that didn't fit into the other book but need to be explored before the series progresses. It's a really cool concept and I can definitely see myself writing a companion novel to the first book in my Greenwood series. That's a working title, by the way. I've already introduced my main character in a portrait video on this channel. You met her as Kiva, but I've renamed her Sirsha. I'll discuss that more in the future, possibly here in another portrait video, but more likely over on my new AuthorTube and BookTube channel, The Westville Archives. If you're into writing and books as a video content, I'd really appreciate if you'd go subscribe over there. I did the AuthorTube newbie tag back on Saturday, and I'll be doing the BookTube newbie tag this coming Saturday. But let's get back on track. The Savior series is set in Thessin, and Thessin has been a peaceful and prosperous place ever since the rise of the first Savior, a magical queen figure who is able to bless her land and her people. Every Savior eventually carries and births just one child, always a daughter, always also magical, and she is the next Savior. The Savior's husband, the king of the land, is known as the Sovereign, and the new Sovereign is selected in the Sovereign's Tournament. This is a month-long battle to the death that takes place after the young Savior's 20th birthday, in which many eligible men from the kingdom apply, 20 are selected to compete, and one is left standing to become the new Sovereign and marry the new Savior. Book 1, The Savior's Champion, follows Tobias, a reluctant entry and underdog competitor in the latest Savior's Tournament. Throughout the tournament, either when preparing for a challenge or a reward, or after the day's challenge is complete, the men interact with the Savior's sisters. These are the women of the Savior's court, her inner circle, and they've all been raised alongside her as adoptive sisters. Spoiler warning, skip ahead to this timestamp now if you haven't read The Savior's Champion yet and you don't want to know the twist. Also, fair warning, if you haven't read The Savior's Champion, don't read The Savior's Sister first. It's the other side of the story, so to speak, so obviously it'll spoil the reveal. The men competing in the tournament have been led to believe that the red-headed beauty Cosima is the savior they are competing for, and her sisters they meet in the sanctuary are healer Layla, handmaiden Delphi, and handmaiden Pippa. Two of these are who they claim to be. Layla is, in fact, the true savior. It seems a lot of women who read The Savior's Champion pick up on that early, or believe that all four women are all different presentations of the one savior, and that it's a test for the men. Male readers somehow don't pick up on that. At least none of the men beta reading or arc reading did. Tobias doesn't figure it out either, and I found it frustratingly adorable and endearing as I experienced the Savior's Champion for the first time that he wasn't picking up the clues. <laughs> this was discussed on the Street Team Discord recently, and Jenna Marassi pointed out that people generally don't switch roles like this in reality, and this is Tobias's reality. And that's true and fair and all that, but does Thessin not have a Prince and the Pauper type fairy tale? Most cultures do. Even if it's only wishful thinking, I wish Tobias had wondered. <laughs> okay, book one spoiler over. The Savior's Sister is from Layla's perspective, so it's what's happening during the tournament, but everything outside of the tournament itself. It's what's going on with the Sovereign and his senators, what's going on with the Savior and her sisters when they're not visiting the competitors, what's going on with the other palace staff and officials. It answers questions you didn't even know you have after reading The Savior's Champion. 
For example, the men play a card game in their downtime in The Savior's Champion, and one of the men does wonder how Raphael even got the cards into the sanctuary, since they weren't supposed to be allowed to bring anything. But it's such a minor thing that, as the reader, you're not continuing to wonder that beyond that scene. You just assume he smuggled it in and move on. But in The Savior's Sister, on one of Layla's first healer duty visits to the sanctuary, she happens to have these cards in her pocket, and she gives them to Raphael and tells him how to play. One of the challenges ends up being based on this card game, and it's not the coincidence it appears to be in The Savior's Champion, because the Savior wanted them to have these cards. That's just one of the many little loose strings that are tied up in The Savior's Sister that you may not have even been wondering about, but it's so satisfying to get that answer. And that one's not a big spoiler, by the way. It happens really early on. It's in the pre-sale giveaway chapters, at least, if not so early that it's in the publicly available preview chapters. I've been talking a long time now, though, and I haven't talked much about Delphi. I should, since that's who I'm drawing today. We've had two official portraits of Delphi at this point. This one from the Savior's Champion campaign, illustrated by Pocket Sized Supervillain, and this one from the Savior's Sister campaign, illustrated by Odette A. Bach. You'll notice that in the first portrait she appears to have dreads, although she is referred to specifically as having braids, and in the second portrait she has traditionally braided three-strand braids. When I was looking for references to work from for this portrait, I saw a woman with these rope-style twist braids, and I loved it, so I had to give it a try. Delphi, or Delphinium, is the Savior's slightly older adoptive sister. She's two years older. The opening scene of the Savior's Champion is the murder of the late Savior, and a random woman who happens to be a midwife and in the right place at the right time performs a C-section to deliver her unborn child, the Savior who is now 20 and the woman whose hand everyone is competing for in the books. That woman is Delphi's mother, and she ends up coming to the palace and being stepmom to the Savior and her other young adoptive sisters. Tobias's love interest in The Savior's Champion and the point of view character in The Savior's Sister is Layla, and of the young ladies of The Savior's Court, she feels most closely bonded to Delphi. Delphi is her partner in crime, her confidant, her ride or die. Delphi will do anything for the people she loves up to and including cleaning up a murder scene. Don't get on her bad side, you'll regret it. Or maybe you won't, maybe you'll just be dead. The role she's taken on when the ladies visit the sanctuary is to clean up the men and make them presentable every time they're to be seen either by the savior herself or in a challenge that is open for public viewing. Mostly that involves oiling them up, because Cosima claims oil does wonders for the male figure. Delphi's taking her word for it, since men aren't her thing, much to the chagrin of competitors who are otherwise cooped up with nothing but other men for company during this tournament. It quickly becomes obvious to the reader, though, that Delphi has ulterior motives for spending time with the men. She's trying to find a suitor for Layla, and once she sets her sights on Tobias, she gets right on with the meddling. In The Savior's Champion, we get all the conversations she has with Tobias to encourage him to pursue Layla, and in The Savior's Sister, we see her counseling Layla to be a little more free and loose during her time with Tobias. So Delphi. Fiercely loyal sister, ladies woman, accomplice to murder, and matchmaker extraordinaire. She's my favorite character in the series for many reasons, so naturally I had to draw her first. In case anyone is wondering, this is alcohol markers of various brands on Strathmore 500 series Bristol paper, and it would appear I've managed to drain my Sage Green Spectra AD marker in the process of creating this piece. Rest in peace, Sage Green, you will be replaced. Check out the Save Your Sister presale giveaway on Jenna Moresi's channel and website. Release day is September 29th. It's now available for pre-order in ebook format on all platforms, and the hardcover design has been approved and sent through to the publisher now, so the hardcover listing will be available for pre-order soon. Paperback and audiobook formats are still in the works. Everyone's a winner in the pre-sale giveaway because you will receive a special PDF copy of the first five chapters, but there are also plenty more prizes to be won, including signed books from Jenna Moresi and other authors, bookie merch, and more. Once again, let me know in the comments down below which Savior Series character you want to see me draw next, and if you'd like to hear me talk more about writing and reading topics while looking at my face and any books I hold up, rather than watching fan art happen, please do go subscribe to my second channel, The Westvale Archives. I upload there on Saturdays. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. I upload art content twice a week at minimum, every Tuesday and Thursday, and if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys!